who's going to volunteer to do the dishes? The dishwasher's still broken. At least I can do, Susan, after such a yummy dinner. Thank you. I'm in. Um, and I'll go feed the animals later. Yeah, I'll help him later as well. Hey, Pete. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you go for the principal's job? I chose work-life balance. Uh, I'll go back to full-time teaching eventually, but for now... Yeah, less work, more life, huh? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, I'm happier <laughs> since I got rid of that pub. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. Seriously, you remember the movie of Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Oh, yeah, Richard Burton was at the table. Half the intensity of these guys it was amazing. And Steve reckons they did an even better improv before I got there. Wow, all that talent right here under our noses. Oh, well, it was nothing special, just acting. So what are you guys going to do when you have to rehearse the passion scenes? <laughs> well, there are no passion scenes in Greek tragedy, thank God. Not even if you were the last leading man on the planet. Well, it's just as well there's no passion because I've given you guys the lead roles. What? Agamemnon and Cassandra, congratulations. Oh, that's wonderful. Good on you guys. Shake a leg. <laughs> no, no, it's break a leg. I'm going out. I can't believe I have to spend the whole play with him. I mean, out of all the people who could have got the lead role, why him? But everyone just stop complaining about everything. Are you okay? Maybe just look a little bit tired. Um, yeah, I'm tired of everyone complaining. This thing wireless? Sit down. Come on, relax. We're having fun. What's this? It's a radio station. No, I didn't know Lost Boy was on tonight. Mm. Turn it up. Turn it up. Hey guys, Lost Boy back here with you doing whatever it is that this is. Uh, my dad used to always say that if you've got something on your mind, you should just say it. So, he goes nothing. I don't like getting pushed around and I'm pretty sure you don't either. But guess what, there are people out there that get their kicks from doing exactly that. Like I was saying, we all know people who are weak. Good for nothing. Alright, let's just give them a name. Just hypothetically, so we know who we're talking about. Let's call them Guy. Are you out there, Mr. Badman? Do they even have radios down in the sewers? Probably not. But if you are listening... Sure, I'm not talking about you, number, it's, uh, you know, just... Hypothetical, you know, like this guy, that guy. Let him sleep. He's been awake most of the night. Yeah, and I've been up all night, so don't come crying to me. What's your rush? Well, the quicker I get my money, the quicker I'm out of here. Thanks, don't open till nine. Well, you'll be first in the queue. Come on! Come on, come on. Put your shoes on, mate. No, 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 no. Don't think so. What? I'm keeping Mini-Me here for insurance, just in case you get any bright ideas. What? No, 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 no you no, can't no, leave me here. We all go together, all right? You kidding? Why, so you can drive me straight to the cop shop? I promise you, you will get your money. He's staying, you're going. Now get moving. Hey, what are you doing here so early? Oh, it's a long story. Not nearly as complicated as we thought it was. What do you mean? You won't believe this. I'll be as fast as I can. No, don't go! No, I have to. I'm sorry, mate. But I promise I won't let anything happen to you. All right? I will not let you down, you hear me? OK, Dad. I'll be back. I promise. This is sweet and all, but can you just get my cash? Tidy and see. One word. Come on, Tidy, let me in. Tony, I know you're in there. I can hear your mobile. You might hear worse by not answering. Give it quick. 
See? Hey, what's going on? Yeah, uh, Callum's sick and uh, I think I got the bug too, so we're just gonna lay low for a while. Why? What's wrong? It's chicken pox. Didn't you tell the others it was a stomach bug? Yeah, I gotta go, mate. Callum's throwing up again. All right. I said keep it brief. Buddy bought it. <sighs> Wait, you guys are right to call the cops. Why? What's going on? Guy Sykes is in there. What? How do you know? Toady told me that Calum's got chicken box, but he told you guys it's a stomach bug. That doesn't prove anything. I heard someone else in there, okay? And I'm 100% sure it was Guy. Right on. Hey, where are you going? I'm going in there. No, you're not. It's too dangerous. We have to call the police. Libby's right. You think they'll believe us again? Well, we'll have to make them. Are you sure about this? He's in there. Look, Dan and Libby are calling the cops. Has anyone tried to call Toady? He's not answering. What are you two doing? Oh, wait. I forgot. I'm not allowed to hang out. Not now, Sonny. What? If he's as dangerous as everyone says he is, shouldn't we not be standing around talking about it? No, I've got to keep an eye on him. Make sure he doesn't escape. I don't want to leave Callum. Well, life's tough. Now go and get it. And don't go talking to any of those idiots. Oh, stop staring. I was only looking. Well, don't, because he'll work out what's going on and freak out. I think, has he definitely got Tony and Kelly in there? Oh, God. Oh, not again. What are you all doing out here? Get inside now. No, we're trapping him in there till the cops get here. No, no, there'll be no more heroics from anyone now. Inside. It's a pretty good idea, actually. Guy won't make a move with everyone out here and a footy game makes it look innocent. You know what happened to Tony last time. Steph, are the kids all right? Steph? Um, yeah, they're, they're with Rebecca. Oh, thank goodness. All right, everybody inside now. I want to see the action. Too bad. Inside. Come on, Ringo, you two. Come on. No way. I'm staying here. Zeke! I'll stay with him, Susan. Now, don't we want this over here? This is a highly volatile situation, and it's extremely important that Mr. Sykes doesn't... Oh, he's not Mr. Sykes. He's a lunatic. We've been through this before. Listen, you need to do something, and you need to do it now. Tell him, run! Come on, come on, come What's happening in there, mate? Is Tony all right? Sykes inside. Yeah. What was that? What's happening? Yeah! You shouldn't have come back here, mate. Come in. Dad! Keep everyone else outside. Hey! Uh, Guy Sykes, you're under arrest. Man, we got him. Yeah, yeah, we did. Hey, I'm really proud of you. You held your nerve. Good boy. Okay? Yes, really? Yeah, 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 I'll survive. Nothing personal. Just business. Get him out of here. We'll take you to the hospital, we'll get you both checked out. And we'll need to interview you. Oh, well, guys, it looks like we're going to need a working bee to put this place back together. Looks much the same. Uh, I thought you'd get taken to prison. Uh, yeah, OK, mate, you go and I'll be out in a second, OK? I'm so glad you're OK. Uh, oh, I'll go outside with him.
Thanks for working it out, mate. Nah, no worries. It was Dan and Libby that worked it out. They're being interviewed by the police inside. Callum's in there too. I think they're going to run you both to the hospital. Is that Sai? Yeah, everyone's fine. Thanks for asking. No way. Zeke, this is a really big story. Is that all you care about? Look, this is my job. You know, none of this would have happened if it wasn't for you. Come on, let's, let's leave it. What did Al want? Oh, it was just Al being Al. Come on, I'll make you some brekkie. Ah, uh, no, I'm good, thanks. Where are you going? Just for a walk. 